every day I wake up, there's a nigga in my inbox talking about, hey, bro, what anime should I watch? Hey, my nigga, what anime should I watch? Hey, man, what anime you think I should watch? Bruh, I'm starting to think y'all niggas think I'm the anime drug dealer in this bitch or something. You got some? You got some? All right, what you need? What you need? What you need? I, I just need something to binge watch. Like, I'm not too particular, but just something to binge watch. All right, I got you. I got you. Look, I got this uh, assassination classroom right here. In case you need some sad shit, I got that Dragon Ball Z if you need some boxing shit. I got that prison school if you need some anime booty. I got the Otako teacher just in case you need some more anime booty. And I got that fairy tale, you know, for fairies and boxing as well. Which one you need? What you need? What you need? Uh, I'm, I'm going to take prison school for the... For okay, the anime booty. booty. Keep going. Dragon Ball Z. I like boxing. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, where my money? Where my money? Come on with the money. Uh, what you say? Uh, I, I, ain't, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. Now I'm just playing. What's up, y'all? RDC World 1 here. Now, this video is supposed to be an anime suggestion video, but first, I'm going to have to teach y'all niggas how to watch anime. Because a lot of y'all got mad because we said we hate dub-ass niggas in anime things versus video game things. Hey, I think they watch anime in English, bro. No! No! Oh, oh my God, God please, bro. no. Y'all watch anime in English, dub? Hey, come on, man! Now, let me reword or actually say what we meant to say in that video, but we didn't have the time to say it. Look, we don't hate dub ass niggas, we hate dub ass niggas. For lack of a better sentence, that's what I have to say. The reason why is because dub anime doesn't always give the full experience that sub anime gives. It's like going to Disneyland. You don't really want to be at Disneyland, you only there because you're broke. You really want to be at Disney World. Okay, that was kind of mean. But listen, we can't go to Disneyland or Disney World, nigga. We saw, but we gotta go to Six Flags. So y'all better take that and don't take it to heart. But listen, what I'm trying to say is, Dubbed anime is always softening shit up for the kids, while sub anime don't give a fuck. And guess what? RDC is not soft. Have you ever tried to come and take a picture with us? Y'all be like, hey, can I get a picture of RDC? And we be like, hey, nigga, what the fuck? Yeah, come on, man, get in the picture. No, I'm just playing. But for real, though, we, we only friendly to y'all because, you know, y'all show love to us and we show love to y'all. But catch us in the hood, nigga. It's a whole different ballpark, nigga. We be out on the street throwing all types of gang signs. We be... <laughs> Alright, alright, let me quit playing. Nah, but really, dubbed anime is like the kids' bop version of subbed anime. Man, let, let me just show y'all what I mean. Hi. Hi. Then the dubbed version be like, Let's go get these punks. Let's go. You got it. Y'all see what I mean? Now, I do understand that all English dubbed anime is not like that. Even RDC loves some English dubbed anime, like Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, the whole first part of Naruto, Sailor Moon, Cowboy Bebop, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh if you count those, Full Metal Alchemist, and then you all should also have some pretty good dubs. But censoring words is not the only thing wrong with dubbed anime. It's also the fact that some anime voice actors put in way more heart than dubbed anime voice actors. Like when a nigga dies in a sub anime, they be acting like they really lost their brother in the damn studio. But when a person dies in the anime on the dub version, them niggas act like they don't give a fuck. They be in the studio playing and shit. Like let's just compare a sub anime scene to a dub anime scene. And y'all tell me which one y'all think have better voice acting, more heart in the voice acting. Roll it. The power moves from one boat to another! Take a look! My left arm is now the arm of a giant! Do y'all feel what I'm saying now or what? Now, I know a lot of y'all finna come up with excuses on why you shouldn't watch sub anime talking about, hey, my nigga, ain't nobody trying to read no damn subtitles while I'm watching anime. Nigga, what the fuck? If you don't read them goddamn subtitles and get your AR level up and quit playing, after a few episodes, you won't even notice you reading the subtitles no more. It's just gonna come naturally. You won't even notice it at all. I promise. Now, I can argue all day about why I think sub is better to watch than dub, but listen, at the end of the day, it's just a preference. We just prefer sub, and some of y'all might prefer dub. It really don't matter. As long as everybody watching anime, and we all love to watch it, man, it's all good. We gonna be all right. I forgot the rest of the words, but we gonna be good, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go ahead and suggest some good anime for all my niggas out there trying to find some good anime to watch. So how we gonna do this is, me and all of RDC are gonna suggest our favorite shows to watch from a specific genre. So all my niggas who've been looking for shows to watch, now's the time to pull out your phones, get the notepad ready, and to write some good shows down. So the first genre we gonna say is, 
fight. The fighting anime I'm gonna suggest for y'all is Akame Got Killed. Y'all gotta go check that out. It's about a girl named Akame, and she out there with some niggas, a whole group of niggas, and they box. <laughs> Smallest detailed description I can give y'all. Okay, so for my fighting genre, I'm going with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And I really like this one because it like progresses in a way that like no anime I've seen progress before. And they fight hard. And the fighting anime that I suggest is Tokyo Ghoul. They fight hard on there and that's just a good anime. For fighting, I recommend Dragon Ball Z. Cause why? Can't nobody get down like Goku in the paint. Like, come on, that's done. Now I'm last, so I'm Owen. But for fighting, I'm gonna say Soul Leader because in every fight, they threw down. Now this genre is for my niggas who love a good plot. You know, a good storyline, uh, mystery, anything. Anything that keeps you on the edge of your seats. That's what this anime is. An anime that's not all about fighting. Trying to stay away from mainstream shows, I'm gonna go ahead and suggest y'all Full Monogamous Brotherhood. So I didn't do good at staying away. But after that, I do wanna suggest a non-mainstream show, which is Future Diary. That is a very good show as well, and it's not known too much in the mainstream level. We're not gonna go too far into descriptions because this video is gonna get hella long, and y'all niggas gonna be trying to watch. Okay, for my storytelling anime, I'm going with ReZero. It's about this dude, when he dies, he has to restart over and try to do everything again the right way, pretty much. And there's a little bit of fighting, but it's just really good story overall. For storytelling, I suggest Death Note. I feel like it's a really good anime, and it's gonna keep y'all interested. For plot, I recommend Kuroko's Basketball, which is really about a group of middle schoolers who hooped together but got too cold to play together, so in high school they separated to see who was the best out of them. For plot, I'm gonna recommend Fooly Cooly because I feel like that's a very underrated show, great animation, and it's only like five or six episodes. Give it a chance, come on. All right, now this is the mainstream anime round. So we about to suggest all the mainstream shows we watch and all of them that you need to be watching. All right, let's get it. So the three mainstream shows I'm gonna suggest to y'all are Seven Deadly Sins, One Piece, and My Hero Academia. I love them shows, so I feel like y'all will love them shows. Y'all go check them out, all right? Okay, so for my three mainstream anime, I'm going with Hunter x Hunter, Attack on Titan, and Samurai Champloo. Three mainstream animes that y'all should watch is Inuyasha, Sword Art Online, and One Punch Man. So check those out. For my mainstream shows I wanna recommend to y'all, I would say Yu Yu Hakusho, Naruto, and Sailor Moon. And lastly, the three anime I would recommend would be Bleach, Cowboy Bebop, and Kill a Kill. Don't sleep. I hope y'all loved all the shows that we suggested for y'all. I'm sorry if this video got too long, and I'm sorry if we couldn't go more into detail, but y'all have to check out all these shows. We wouldn't just suggest them for no reason, I promise you. Now, RDC World 1, out. It's the end of the semester, y'all, so guess what? We already know these teachers about to try to hold you with a whole lot of work. So if you got a lot of essays and you need it written for you, go ahead and head over to edubuddy.com. They'll write your whole essay. It's confidential and plagiarism free. They'll completely write it, 100%. So go ahead and head over there if you feel like you can't take no more school work.